So we're going to be starting on page one. We're going to get one of our pocket pages. Here's the spine. So this is going in the spine. So this is going to be the left side. And this will be the right side. So get your pocket page out. Make sure you, these are open like this. We're going to make an inner pocket, a left side inner pocket. You're going to cut a piece six inches wide by nine inches tall. You're going to put that in your scoreboard and you are going to be scoring it. Start with the nine inch. You're going to score it at a half an inch. Flip it around half an inch. And then we are going to be scoring this at a half an inch also. Half an inch. So that's going to be our left inner pocket. And then we are going to have an outer left outer flap. This is going to be the left flap on the outside. You're going to cut a piece six and three quarter inches tall by four and three quarter inches wide. Put it in the scoreboard, four and three quarters on top. Score it at a half an inch. And that's going to be our flap. So let's get those put down first. So I have my left inner pocket. I went ahead and folded, burnished, added my score tape, mitered these corners down here, and mitered the top up in here. So you are going to be adhering this side, the long side, to this area here. So you're just going to go ahead and affix this. You're gonna go all the way to the edge and you're gonna pull the score tape and get that adhered. Do not pull the side tapes yet. And let me get that done. And let me pull this. So make sure your pocket is straight with your pocket page. Get everything lined up, then pull the tape. Open this up, burnish this down. And this is where I add my black construction tape, just so we don't hit anything with that lip. You can use scotch tape too, but just be mindful, scotch tape over time will get dry and brittle. And this tape will not. So got that down. And once again, I I tend not to close this until I have every all my my paper in, so I make sure everything's okay. Next, you're going to get this left outer flap. Oops, I need to add my my tape on here. And what you're going to do is you're going to center this over your left inner pocket, and you're just going to um, find the midline of this which will be four inches, and then you will find the midline of this and put that there and add your flap here. So I'm going to go ahead and add my score tape, miter, miter these edges, of course, and then I'll be right back. So here's the center of this left outer flap, the center of my inner pocket. Just going to align that up like that. This is going to be flush with this edge and I am just going to pull that score tape. So pull the score tape and then go ahead and burnish this. And I have not adhered this down. And now we are going to have another flap on this side. So we have our inner pocket that we had not adhered on the, the sides up here yet. We have our left outer flap, and now we need to add a right flap. Now this right flap is going to be eight inches tall. You're going to score it at a half an inch on the long side, and it's going to be affixed 
to the edge of your pocket page. Now the width is going to be where it intersects um, this left outer flap. So I need to trim this piece down kind of right there. So my piece is going to be three, let's see, like four and a quarter inches. But you, what did I have on my thing? Yeah, well, <laughs> I put like mine was four and one eighth on my, my original one. This is more like between four and one eighth and four and a quarter. You can see, so you measure yours. You just want it to be, so it's basically almost butting up with this flap. So I'm going to trim this down and then add this flap to my page. So I got my flap prepared. I got my score tape on, mitered these edges right here. This is going to be adhered, remember, to this edge of the pocket page. And I'm just showing you how, oops, get it fixed right. That's how it's going to sit. So I have this paper so you can see that is about how much space I have in between the left flap and the right flap. So you just kind of measure this so it goes right there. So I am going to go ahead and affix this down on here. And I'll be right back. Next, you're going to make a closure flap. It's going to be two and a half inches wide by five and a quarter inches long. We may trim this a little bit, but for now we're going to put it in and we're going to, where is my score tool? We're going to score it at a half an inch and then just one eighth of an inch. So we're going to have a one eighth of an inch gusset. So you're going to fold and get that little gusset formed. And then I'll be right back once I get mine folded and formed. So the way this closure flap is going to work, there's the 1 8 of an inch gusset. We're actually going to be putting this inside the pocket page here. Not sure where yet. We have to wait till we decorate our page. It will be there'll be a magnetic closure here that's gonna go over this left outer flap. So um, it's gonna go somewhere around here. So you're not going to adhere this now. You're just gonna have it ready. So once we decorate all our pages, then we'll figure out where we're going to put it. And we may trim this up a little bit on the end here. So this page is basically set and ready to decorate. Let me show you what we made. So we have, this is the closure flap. This is the outer left flap, the, the right flap, and here is our big inner pocket. So that, that we have some magnets we have to be putting in and our closure flap, and then we're gonna add this little um, piece right here once we get our designer paper on. So that is, that is page one. So you can kind of clip that together and save this. This is page, page one. And put this, put this to the side. So this is complete. So this is page one. So now we're ready to decorate and add the magnets to our page one. So this is page one. And so get the, the base that you built. You're gonna to go to the inside. Now the inside you had this pocket. 
So this pocket is five and a half inches wide. Once you've scored it, it's five and a half inches wide. And I have not closed mine off yet. And I did put my black construction tape here, so there's nothing gonna be hitting here. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to add magnets. So there is going to be a magnet on this flap, on this right flap, and you are going to put it like a half an inch in, and I do it a half an inch in, and it's just below the midway part, or it's at the midway part. And then you're gonna transfer a magnet over to this left inner pocket. So that's gonna be transferred over here. That's gonna keep this down. Let me show you on, here is the album. I'm gonna take this magnet off. Here is the magnet that I placed here. And it's gonna catch there. And where it catches is right here. So get those magnets placed and then transfer it over to the top of this pocket, this five and a half inch pocket. I also put one of these one and I forgot what size it was. It's like a one and a half um, diameter scallop round punch. I put one of those, I painted it with our gold a metallic paint, painted it on the front. That's all I did with that one. I just painted it with that gold metallic paint and I stuffed it in on the on this back side of the flap before I covered it with the paper. The magnets here, I put this up here. So once again, there's where the magnet is. Here's where I inserted that pole right above it so you can see it like that. You don't have to put this in. I just like the idea of, oh, lift this up and we open this up. So get your magnets in. If you want to make this, put this in. Remember, cut it, um, cut it so it's not sticking you don't have the entire circle here. You cut it like three quarters of the way down and then apply that in. And I just backed it with some craft card stock that I just inked the heck out of it to make give it that brown color. I used another circle punch to fill that in. So that's what I did with this. So you got your magnets in. Let's see, do I have any magnets here? Got you can go ahead and cover these two flaps. These two flaps are covered with this from the patterns, 12 by 12 patterns page. You already cut out this Christmas tree. Now you're gonna use this to cover these flaps. That is the paper we use to cover these flaps. 12 by 12 patterns page. Now the the back of this, you're going to cover the pocket and you're going to use um, the insert that goes in the pocket. This is from the 8x8 eight eight collection right there. What you're going to do is measure 5 and 3 8 inches and cut. 5 and 3 8 inches and cut. Go ahead and put that 5 and 3 8 on your pocket, on this 5 and a half inch pocket. Then the remainder of what you've cut off is going to be this side and you're going to have just enough to cover, go into, cover that lip of the pocket. So this is going to, you're gonna to have to cut off a little bit from the bottom here for it to fit in. And you're gonna slide that under there and fix that down. So that's what I did there. So you got your pocket, got your magnets. This is done. 
you are just using this paper to cover the inside here. So the inner part of this page is done. Now we're going to work on the front part of the right flap. So this paper back here is from the 8x8 eight eight collection. It's this paper. Here's the back side. You are just going to cut a piece. I believe this is two and two and a half inches wide. So two and a half inches wide and whatever this comes out to like seven and seven eighths inches tall. So you're gonna cut out that strip, make sure you ink it, and then you're going to have a space here because this, this is wider than two and a half inches. You are going to get this paper, this striped paper from the eight by eight collection. It's this paper. I have my stripes going down in this direction and you are going to cut this to fit in this space. Mine measures about one and one sixteenth inches wide, but you measure yours. I just like to have a little bit of black reveal in between these two pieces of paper and the edge here. So you're going to get those down. So the front is covered. If you want to add this card, this, well, this little image here, this is from the A4 collection. Here it is. I just cut this out. I cut it out kind of in a square and then I mounted it on 65 pound cardstock and then just trimmed around it so I can get a little bit of black edging all the way around it like that. So that's what I did with that. This is done. For this front flap cover, let's see, get a piece of white paper here. For this front flap cover here, here's yours right there. You are going to be covering this also with this paper from the 8x8 collection. Same thing, measure it. Cut it to size and measure it. Ink it, but do not put it down because before you put it down, we are going to be adding a magnet. Now, where does that magnet go? Let me see where mine is. So this magnet is going to be on this left outer flap um, before you cover it with this paper. So let me see where my magnet is. And then let me get my little flap and kind of mark to see where it is. Actually, I can just put it right, right there. So that's where the magnet is. Maybe you might want to put it in a little more in. Usually I like to put it in like at least three eighths of an inch, um, but you, you're, you're, you've got to catch it with your flap. So that's where I put my magnet in, which measuring from the middle of the magnet to the bottom of the flap, it's about one and you can see where it is. Almost, well, from the top of the magnet, it's basically one and a half inches one and a half inches from the bottom of the flap. And usually I put it in like three eighths of an inch. Usually that's where I would put it about three eighths of an inch in. So magnet, get your magnet in. Then you can go ahead and cover it with your paper. Remember, this is inked. Next, you are going to find this image. This is from the A4 collection. Here he, here is Santa. I cut him out, inked it, and matted him on 65 pound black cardstock like that. 
So you are just mounting this card on 65 pound cardstock. You will be adhering it to this flap, and but you're only gonna be adhering it on three sides. So once he is inked, adhere it on three sides. You can see I have like one eighth of an inch from the bottom here. That's where I put mine. I used one eighth score tape. You can use glue if you want, but you need to keep this open for a little pocket up here. So once you have this paper down, your Santa paper down, then you are going to get your closure flap. Remember, you close your flap. We cut it, but we have not done anything with it. It has a small gusset. This gusset is going to go on the in the inside of your pocket page. So the inside of your pocket page. You are just going to put it there. It's got that gusset so it can easily go over your flap. You are going to figure out where your magnet is and you are going to transfer a magnet from here to this flap. So you're going to put a magnet from there and transfer it over to this flap. Let me show you where mine is so you can just see. There's that magnet. And there's that magnet. So when you, you see this magnet, it's that's where mine was um, transferred over to, that edge. So that's about where you want it, like that. And that's why this has to be kind of close to this edge. If you put it too far out, you're not gonna catch it with this flap unless you make your flap longer. So that's why I put it so close to the edge there. And we made this a little bit longer just so we could catch it. So hopefully, let me see if this would catch my magnet if I had it here on mine. Could I catch the magnet we just placed? And it looks like I could catch it. So you can see where it is like that. Not that you can see, but that's where you're going to be catching the magnet. Here's where I caught the magnet on this page. So it's going to look something like that. So once you get the magnets transferred from here to here, what I did is I used this paper from the 8x8 collection. I put it down here. And then I want it to add an image here. And I used this picture from where from the A4 collection. I just cut out this image of the door and put it at the end. So I just cut it to fit fit at this this end end piece. Like that. So the magnet is covered. You've got this transferred over. Hopefully you've adhered it in your inner pocket. It's down and ready to go there. On the front of this, you are going to use this image, Flakes of Snow, which is from this card again. We've already used this and this. Now we're going to use Flakes of Snow. So I cut the, here it is, Flakes of Snow. I cut this image out and mounted it on black cardstock also so I could have some black around this image. The top of this flap is covered with the same, the same paper. So I just covered the top of this flap with this paper and then added that image of flakes of snow there. 
So this paper, this paper, and this paper, this paper, this paper, and this paper are all from that eight by eight paper. Add this piece mounted on black cardstock. You've got your magnet transferred over. Hopefully you were able to catch it. You got your pocket. What else do we need? This I got from the, another A4. It's this image from the A4 collection. I cut that and um, mounted it on black cardstock also. Um, punched a hole and added an eyelet. And then this was just a scrap piece of paper I had at the very end. I thought it kind of matched with this. So this card is going to go in this little pocket. So we have everything. The hardest part is getting this transferred over and making sure you catch it. So hopefully that will be no problem with you. If you, for some reason, it's you can't catch it, just make this a little bit longer. I just didn't want to cover up Santa's arms. So that is the way my mine is all looking once it's all together. Not a hard page, but a very fun page. And in here, I did make a, an insert. Where did my insert go? Here's the insert I made for this. It fits in like that. This is a piece of black cardstock cut to um, five and seven eighths by seven inches. I used my scallop punch for the these edges and I just rounded the corners on these. This obviously is from this paper again. This is, I think it's one and a half inches. Yeah, it's one and a half inches. This piece is from, let me grab it. This piece here is from the paper pad. It's on the back side here. And I basically just cut it from this red line here, like that. And I, I added a little tuck spot here. This is one and a half inch tuck spot right there. This part here is cut from the top of this paper up here like this. This is not a tuck spot. This is just, I think that's just one and a half inches. It's just one and a half inches, but there's no tuck spot in here. So this basically is made from this page, this 12 by 12 page. And then I have this insert, which is coming from the A4 collection. Here it is. This, this is from the A4 collection. It's this piece right here. And I just mounted that on black cardstock and rounded the corners and inked them. And he just sits in this little tuck spot here. And then this whole thing goes in here like this. So that edge sticks out like that. So this page is done.